Hi everyone, uh, my neighbours said they've lost the cat, they haven't seen it for a while, uh, so they've asked me if I'll have a look around in the garden for it. It's quite a big one apparently. Okay, I won't be long. Hello, pussycat. Children's Podcast. My name's Angela and I'm here this week because Ruth and Peter are still on holiday. Over the last few weeks we've been looking at stories from the book of Daniel. Now, this week's story is Daniel in the Lion's Den. That's my favourite. Do you have a favourite? Would you like to just send us some pictures, videos, models about your favourite? We're running a competition. If you look at the children at home part of the website, it will tell you a little bit more. But basically, if you want to do us a picture, or make a model and send us a picture of that, or write a story, sing a song, even you know make a short video clip and send them through to the parish email, or you could always WhatsApp them to Peter Huxtable and the vicar. By the end of August, there might be some prizes for the best. We'll probably show some of them on po podcasts in the future. Should we get on with this week's? Should we have the story, Daniel in the Lion's Den? Hello everyone, it's me again. Time for another story. Now, Daniel was now working for another king called Darius. And Darius liked Daniel. In fact, he liked him so much, he wanted him to be in charge of the whole kingdom. But some other people who worked for the king were a bit jealous. And they knew that Daniel prayed to God every day. So they went to the king and they said, King, we think you should make a new law. No one should be allowed to pray to any god except for you. So the king made the new law. But Daniel carried on praying. So the other men went back to the king and they said, Daniel is disobeying your law. You need to throw him into the lion's den. Now the king didn't really want to do that, but he made the law so he had to. And at the end of the day, Daniel was thrown into the lion's den and the king said, Daniel, may your God protect you. That night, the king didn't eat, he didn't sleep, he was too worried about Daniel. And the next morning, he ran back to the lion's den to see what had happened. Daniel was perfectly fine. In fact, he hadn't got a single mark on him. And he said to the king, My God has saved me and I haven't done anything wrong. OK, see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, hello, and welcome to Old News Daily with me, Stand Upright. In the news today, 
man spends a whole night in the lion's den and survives. And we're being joined today over the telephone by the captain of the lions, Bobby Raw. Bobby, not the result everyone was expecting. Well, that's right, Stan. Yeah, in the run-up to it, we were feeling strong. We'd been training hard. We'd had a good run of results. Uh, but we're still hungry for more. We started well. We were moving really well. All of the team were dribbling really well. We just couldn't seem to put him away and finish the job. Fair play to Daniel. He had his game plan and it worked well for him. So, what's next for the Lions? Well, we'll have a chat about what happened last night. We did seem to lose the hunger just for that evening. Uh, But then we'll move on and focus on the next game. Oh, well, thank you for that, Bobby. And that's all for Old News Daily today. Goodbye. do some lion based crafts. First of all, can you make a snack Oops, that looks like a lion? So I've got a pancake with some orange segments, blueberries and a chocolate nose. What can you do with your snack? This lion has been made from a paper plate which I painted yellow. I've stuck on two ears eyes and the nose and then I've put some of this PVA glue around the outside and I'm going to make his mane with some noodles. You could use spaghetti or any pasta really that you've got at home. If you put it on and then leave it to dry and the pasta will go firm as well. that to one side and I've got another lion here this is made from a strip of paper that's been folded in half and then each half is folded to the middle again and then you want to fold down one end and on the other end cut slits so that you've got three parts the middle part being narrower you then need to round off the two wider parts, which are going to be the lion's feet. And bend the middle one back the other way. We're going to put some glue on this bit that we bent over. And a little bit further up as well. Turn that round. So we've got feet at the front, tail at the back. Then you want a round circle for your lion's face. Some ears. Eyes. And then the main, slightly bigger circle in a different colour, an orangey colour and then cut towards the centre, not all the way, all the way round, get a glue in the middle, and you can put your lion's face on the body. And then a little tufty bit on the tail as well. Okay, so have fun making some lions. I'm going to give him some toes.
forgot that bit. You can always send us a picture of any lines that you make. Have fun! When the world's against you Can you believe when you're the only one? Can you still love when there's no one to trust? Can you say prayers when it seems all hope's gone away? Can you have peace when the fear surrounds you? Can you find strength to survive the day? Can you hold on to the promise of God? Fix your eyes high, never lose sight, help is at hand. Deep in the lion's den, courage and hope again. Stronger than any fear, our God Almighty is here. Deep in the seem hard you are there and you protect us and keep close to us through whatever's happening we just ask that you will be with us this week in all the things that we do at home or away from home and we pray that you will keep us all safe now we do our main amen thank you for joining the podcast this week have fun over the following week and don't forget the competition. We need the entries by the end of August. Goodbye. <laughs>